Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be walking you through a step-by-step -step guide on the Physiotherapy Pro Forma for Patient Assessment. This video will be helpful for students who are new to practical classes and a quick recap to prepare for your practical exam. If you like this video and find it helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. A quick preparation before the practical exam. We need a clear camera if you're still studying remotely and having this exam online. Oftentimes, we have our computer set up but the audio are not checked before the exam. So this is an important point as well to prepare and get them tested before your exam. Secondly, dress professionally. This is to give a great first impression to the examiner and always greet them before you start your practical exam. Before you kickstart your exam as well, try to calm yourself and if needed, prepare the apparatus at home for exam. This shows that you are all well prepared. And lastly, always keep practicing. In the following slides, I will be having some scripts that you can follow along and you could also write your own script. But as long as you practice, this step shouldn't be too hard and it is actually really easy to be memorized and to re be recalled during the exam. So let's get started. So here I've organized the guide to five important steps with each steps explained further in detail later on. So what I'm trying to do here is to group them into meaningful groups called the 5P. These should help you to memorize and recall the step easily and quickly during the practical examination and also in real life situation. So the 5P shown here is first, the problem, second, the pre-inspect, third, the position, fourth, the parameter, and post-inspect. So in the later slides, I will be going through one by one in detail, but this should give you a quick summary on how you should memorize it, which is the 5P. That's pretty easy, right? So great. So let's move on to the first P, which is problem. So what I mean by problem is that this P is all about introducing yourself, the patient and the treatment. So first, before you start, you would want to kind of introduce yourself and greet the patient. So you can say something like, hello, my name is XXX. I'm a physiotherapist. I will be treating you today. So, for example, if the goal is to reduce pain or swelling the patient is feeling by using electrotherapy, you could also go on and kind of explain the effect of this treatment and how, how it would help them to feel better. So, why are you doing this? So, the, the reason why you're doing this is to give assurance to the patient and also you need to get consent from the patient as touching will be required throughout the treatment. So one of the sample question you could say is that during the course of the treatment, I might be touching you and I hope that's okay. So when you speak with confidence, yet with assurance, this would help the patient to feel more relaxed and the treatment could go more smoothly as well. All right. So after you kind of greet yourself, the next step that you want to do is to have the to check through the contraindication so you would be kind of going through the indication and also the contraindication both general and local so on the slides here you would see that i like i kind of just put it into two buckets with which which is the general contraindication so the general ones would be kind of like mental or physical or there are actually many more but here i just gave a few example one is that, you know, you must check whether the patient is actually uh, mentally okay, whether they have any uh, sensation intact, or physically, or do they have any, do they have any cardiac failure, or do they have pacemaker? Because, you know, if they have pacemaker, it's kind of the contraindication for the electrical stimulation. Moving on, you would check the local contraindication. So this might be something that is visible, like open wound, severe swelling, or even you know check with the patient of recent incidents, like fractured or even surgery. 
So the sample question you could ask would be like, could you show me your hand? I'll just like to check whether there's any open wound or severe swelling. Or asking question about their history, like have you been diagnosed with cancer? Or if it's a female, you have to ask this question, which is, this might be a little sensitive, but are you currently pregnant? So all this contraindication needs to be checked before treatment is started. And it's actually really important during the practical examination that you ask these questions. Because all these questions, if, you're, if it's not asked, might lead to you losing some marks as well. Okay? So moving on to the next P, which is the second P that we have here, which is the pre-inspect. So during this step, the procedure would be like doing a sensory test and preparing a treatment tray and also to do a self-test. So the reason why we're doing this sensory test is to make sure that the patient's sensory is intact. Okay, so without proper sensation, the treatment should not be carried out at all. All right? So there are a couple of tests that we could do, especially during the practical examination. So the first sensory test that you should do is the hot and cold temperature. So you would use two test tubes, one with hot and one with cold, and then you let the patient tell you how they feel. So this test is so important, especially while doing the heating and cold modality, okay? Because this is the most important step during the exam, so do take note of that. Because we want to make sure that the patient is not you know, hypersensitive to hot and cold and they do have sensory in place. Okay. So the second sensory test that you can do as well is the pain stimuli. You get the patient to close their eye and then you use a blunt object and then ask them to tell you how they feel or when, whether they feel it. Okay. So you have to do all the sensory tests because it is an important piece during the pr practical examination. So please remember to do and perform the steps. All right, moving on to the next step, which is the preparation of treatment tray. And we're still in the second uh, guide, which is the pre-inspect, okay? So the preparation of treatment trays would be different for uh, each of the different treatment that you are selecting, okay? It might be, you know, you have to prepare lint pad, electrode for electrical stimulation, or even cotton tissue to clean, towel, and McIntosh, and, and etc. You would have a list of kind of the preparation of apparatus that you need to kind of list out if you're doing it remotely, or to prepare it if you're doing the practical face-to-face. Um, so one of the most important treatment tray that you should have as well during electrical stimulation is the preparation for to reduce the skin resistance. So we call it the skin resistant lowering tray. So the, mm, the things that you need to prepare are like soap, water, towel, and etc. So the reason why this is important is because by cleaning the, sk the skin, this would help you to remove the dirt and any unwanted particle that might interfere with the current. So my lecturer always talked about how important this step is because um, especially for the electrical stimulation, we don't want all this dirt to be interfering with the current and cause any burn to the skin. Okay. All right. So now let's move on to the third P, which is the position. So I kind of just group it into position, but it's actually called the position and placement. So what I meant is that the P of position is the patient position, you as a physiotherapist position, and also if this is an electrical stimulation treatment, it would be the electrode placement as well. So I group all this to position because it is easier to memorize. So the most important is to always keep the patient and yourself comfortable because keep in mind this would be a treatment that might take you know 15 to 30 minutes so you need to make sure that the patient is is very comfortable while doing this treatment okay so the patient position could be seated supine or prone 
So something important to note is that if the case mentioned that the patient has swelling is present, always remember to elevate the area to about 30 to 45 degree above heart level because okay, we want to reduce the swelling. So while performing the electrical stimulation, electrode placement will be important based on the treatment area. This is where the marks come from. So correctly indicating the electrode placement is very, very important. And if you're interested to know more about the placement of the electrode further, please leave a comment below. So let's move on to the fourth step, which is also the most important step, which is the parameter. So in doing this step, it is important to explain in the most detail, explain the moves to score well. So always, always start with self-testing the apparatus and explain the sensation to the patient. Okay, if it is an electrical stimulation, it could be explaining how the feeling is tingling, but it shouldn't cause any pain. Okay, always give them assurance and get them to be relaxed. So this is very important to do the self-test so that the patient could feel confident with the treatment itself. Okay, moving on to the treatment parameter. The treatment parameter is different for the treatment selected. So there are many different, many different treatments out there like electrical stimulation, superficial heating modalities such as the hydrocolateral pack, and even cryotherapy such as ice massage and etc. So all these have different parameters and should be explained well and in detail. Some of the parameters should be treatment time or the treatment frequency of how often should the treatment be done and especially the method of application. So in this video, we won't be discussing all the different treatment selection in detail because it is going to be a bit too long. Um, so if you're interested to understand the parameter for each of the and the treatment available, uh, please leave a comment and maybe I could prepare some, some of this um, treatment that you want in a video form and to help you to prepare better for the exam. So yeah, please comment down below and let me know. So lastly, the last P is the post inspection. So this, in this kind of steps are all about checking, documenting and cleaning up. So once the treatment has been done, always, always remember to check the skin integrity of the patient. You could say something like, I will slowly take off the electrode from you now. Let me just check the skin condition to see whether, whether there's any blister or any redness. And then ask them how they're feeling. So the, the skin integrity part is really important because you want to make sure that the patient is feeling good after and also to give assurance if you, if you see any red redness on the skin okay and then you move on to documentation document the treatment is very important as well because you need to have the documentation to check on the progress and to make sure that the next time the patient returns, you can identify what was being done previously so the things that you would document are the treatment selection the treatment time parameter patient respond to treatment and skin condition. So last but not least, always remember to clean up the clinic and make sure that the room is back to its original state. So once you have done, done all the steps, you are actually done with the treatment. And then don't forget to thank the examiner for your time and then just, you know, be happy because you're all done with it. So I hope that this video made it clearer for you as you prepare for your practical exam. And one last tip is to always be calm and enjoy the process. Electrotherapy should be a fun class because it's so practical and I believe you will be enjoying it as well. And I hope that if you like this video and if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you could like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what other topics you would like to know about electrotherapy or any physiotherapy courses. See you next time. Thank you.